Everyone dreams of their ideal wedding cake, but have you ever wondered what goes behind the making of each of these gorgeous creations? Come along with me as we discover what goes into the making of these lovely delectables, besides sugar, spice and everything nice. When it comes to pastries and cakes for weddings, no one knows the subject better than La Boni Patisserie. With award-winning chef Pei Jin and her dedication to her craft, not to mention a wonderful staff backing her up on her creations, it is no wonder La Boni Patisserie is going from strength to strength. So today we are very happy to have with us GP from La Boni. Thank you so much for inviting us down to have a talk with you. Can you share with us more about yourself as well as about La Boni? Thank you Ying for coming over. I'm GP. I'm the Business Development Manager of La Boni. La Boni does wedding cakes, dessert tables, as well as edible flavors. Can you tell us more about La Boni and how long La Boni has been in the cake industry? La Boni has been in the business for about four years now. La Boni was born out of the passion of Chef Peyton who was previously working in the hotel industry and she wanted to be able to exercise her creativity in terms of the edible creations. Okay, so I'm pretty sure a lot of our Blissful Brides audiences would like to know how do you usually go about conceptualizing the cake? Usually customer has an idea in mind but is not able to articulate it out. As such, we usually ask them for sample images of the desired wedding cakes or dessert table. We will then be able to discuss with wedding couples after that and make suggestions. Some of the key things that we ask would usually be like maybe say for instance, wedding theme, colour theme or even location of the wedding as well. So what is one thing you've noticed that people don't necessarily understand about the cake baking process? One thing that most people should take note of when making cake order is understanding about their gas dietary requirement. Because food allergy is an important consideration as we usually equate cake as celebration food. Guests may have allergy to ingredients such as nuts. I see. So what are some of the other details most people tend to miss out when ordering a cake? Location is key as being outdoor or indoor plays a part in choosing the type of cake. Most cake will not be suitable for prolonged display and needs to be eaten quite immediately. For weddings, fondant cake holds well and better. In most instances, cake needs to be kept and displayed in cool space. Another thing that we have noticed is that everyone loves a grand 5 tier or even 8 tier fairy tale cake. The reality is, when the tail cakes are cut, it's messy and does not look good to eat even on banquet tables or dessert table. This will be considered wastages when clients don't eat the cake. We will suggest a smaller but more manageable cake and to have guests serve mini pre portion wedding cakes. Or for example, even a 5 tier creation with only 2 tier edible cakes and the other 3 tiers uh, dummy cakes. Is this a good idea or do you think that an edible cake would be more preferential instead? It's always a good idea to get an edible wedding cake because it's like then that's where you get your choices as well as like to customize it as opposed to like you know a dummy wedding cake that's like prepared by the hotel. People are now less willing to purchase a dummy cake because the cost of having a dummy cake is just as much as a fully edible creation as well. The current trend that we see will be like maybe say single tier cake uh, slightly taller, which is about maybe say 6 inch in height and what we can do is that we can actually do it with like personalised cake toppers or even cake pops around the cake as well to create a more personalised theme as well Another thing that we have seen recently would be like the maker cakes which is the cake that is without the buttercream frosting but that cake would tend to be a little bit more on the dry side Thank you so much for sharing with us GP and I'm pretty sure that our audiences have learned a lot from you today My pleasure Click that like button and subscribe for more wedding tips and tricks to help you plan your special day. See you soon!